Mummy's Dirty Secrets. Welcome back to Mummy's Dirty Secrets. We're not sure if we're on episode 10 or 11. Might be 10 part 2. It might be 11. But we're carrying on from the social media thing last week. Yes. Yeah, I'm Yasmin. I'm Kelly. Hi. (laughs) Hi. Hi. Who knows? Who knows, say, like in 15 years' time? Because if you'd go back 15 years... Yeah. Uh, or 20 years, say, uh, all the stuff that I've got on videos and, and DVDs and things like that, are they ever going to be seen again? So yeah. all the things that are on now, yeah, who, yeah. who knows what's in... Are we just going to, like, tap our temple and an <laughs> image is going to come? You <laughs> don't know, do you? No, that's, yeah. In 20 years, what will Facebook still be around? Will all mm. of our pictures and all of our videos and things that we put on... Yeah. Because we don't have them anywhere else, because no. they're not saved anywhere else, are they? That's it. What's going to happen to them? No, that's it. Because you've got to, you need to have a computer or something to store all these images on, mm. uh, and you don't print them off. And yeah, what is going to be the next development? People are saying about these hologram things, and that's going to be that's the future of gaming and everything. You're going to play with a, a sort of like a hologram that might come up or come down, and wow. it's all very like all. Multi-dimensional, yeah. sort so of yeah, thing. all of these memories so, that we do have on Facebook. Are we going to get that with our photos? Is it going to be like? Oh wow! Yeah, oh, quite scary. That could it? be the future. Like it? you know, if you're not it's the hologram of your granddad standing there, be a bit like. Yeah. Well, I was FaceTiming someone the other day, <laughs> um, and it was we said something like about like oh, it would be lovely to have a cuddle or have a kiss or something like that. Mm. And you think, I wonder if that could actually be the future. If there's a way of if we've got this hologram sort of. Mm. My brain can't comprehend how it could work. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't it, with know certain I type know. of sensors or something mm. like that. Wouldn't yeah. Wouldn't that be weird though? But but I, I feel like it, it could be possible. I just can't work out how. But it's not my job. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna overthink that. One. No. no. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry my little somebody, brain. Over I'm sure that somebody one. will be able to I've got tell it. us. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon? Ding. I've got yeah. the idea. How does it work? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I would be able to cope with that. Yeah. Like, how, how well, like you, if you, you imagine if you sent them, so like gone. imagine if you put your face into a mold and sent them a kiss, and then it was like, <laughs> I'm thinking of those things with the little needles in, but oh, not like it. Are you talking about like people mean? that are still alive? I thought you meant hugging someone that was has died. No, no, but like virtually, if so, if you're there and somebody else is there, yeah, and you you can see them and speak to them, like whether there would actually be a way to send them an embrace, like say if you put oh, your arms into I, some kind of sensor oh, so or I've something, totally wrong and then they there. can receive that pressure. I or... thought you meant hugging someone that's passed over because no. that would freak me out. Totally. <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm like, ah, oh, my chin's on the floor. <laughs> no. I don't know if I could deal with that. That you know, if they've gone, I don't know if I could co- I'd, as much as I'd want to. Yeah. Uh, that would really freak me out. Ah, so somebody, if you're perhaps there in Australia and you're here, yeah. Now I'm with you. Now it falls yeah. into place. Yeah. Or whether yeah, yeah whether do, there's yeah. some sort of mold or something that you could put your arms or face or do you know whatever what else me into. about that? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that hole doesn't normally feel like that. It's a bit gapier than normal. Um, <laughs> that's the real one. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What worries me about that is. Then we'll be just diminishing human contact. Yeah, I think do you know what I mean? Will. If those things like yeah. that, will you never touch their skin again? Or yeah. becoming so advanced like this, are we never going to be regressing, aren't we? In yeah. ways. Yeah. So not actually think. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll just have a virtual hug. Well, there's that Einstein, there's some sort of Einstein quote, isn't there? That the more that we develop, we're just getting stupider and stupider. Yeah, well, for sure, and um, lazier as yeah. well. There's so, there's so much, um, so much technology and gadgets and things just to make us more lazy. No. Do you ever see the film Wally? Wally. I think little bits of it I've seen. In that, because Earth has been like depleted with. Um, Rubbish, you know, uh, or some what's the word I'm looking for? like? It's all become a big landfill. Yeah. Earth has become a complete landfill. So all of the um, obviously this is a Disney film. <laughs> all the people are up in space on a space cruise. Yeah, 
and they're just sat in chairs and they're, and they're well I don't know I can't remember it completely but they're all just getting fatter and fatter and fatter and they can't get out of their chairs because they just don't do anything because everything is done for them yeah I don't want to be like that no I don't want to be a fat block well <laughs> I am a little bit sure. yeah I don't want everything done for me I like doing things yeah that's it so what what will be the point of us having fingers and yeah. arms and things we just won't have any anymore we blink and yeah and, but, and that shows that, you know, with the, all these people that have got all that money, it doesn't bring happiness. Because if you can have everything done for mm. you, you've got cleaners and you've got cooks and you've got everything and personal shoppers and that, mm. we're just going to sit there like, what are we doing now? boring, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and getting to being able to do whatever, whatever you want would, would wear thin, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah. No, I don't... It, it, that, that respect of all the advancement of things, it does, I think, oh... Yeah. I don't like it. I'm sure some people do, but me no. Me no. But it is a shame that yeah, people are looking at social media and trying to get achieve that kind of life that feels just out of reach and might mm. always be out of reach because yeah. it's not real. Mm. And actually, if they did yeah. get there, the reality is it's yeah, not, they still wouldn't be just happy. Not perhaps. Real and yeah. real. So it's good yeah. for some things. And yeah. I mean, I like the fact that I can have a see my family in England. Yeah friends here and like saving with you and we can all be engaged and have a laugh and be yes. in all different places yeah 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 so for that without, without, purpose, without I love being it. on there yeah. we couldn't do that yeah and i like you know my friends that uh looking at seeing pictures of their children which you know yeah. in olden days you'd have had to go around and share photographs but you yeah. can you can have a look at see what people are doing and in that so i do like it for that that respect i just fear you know for the people with um insecurities and things that you know it can be it can't it's not always a good thing it's just finding a happy medium again isn't it you know and um hmm. i I think like for all the friends i have on social media they're all relatively normal i say i'd say relatively Mm, some obviously some bonkers people but (laughs) (laughs) uh yeah i don't i don't really follow any celebrities yeah um so I don't really see that side of things. But, you know, I think a lot of youngsters who are influenced by it, they follow it and they, especially ones who are, let's say, like um, perhaps just reality TV celebrities. Yeah. They don't particularly have um, uh, any sort of talent per se other than mm. being um, flamboyant or whatever. Uh, and so... That it looks like it's an ordinary life. Yeah. So people are trying to get that. Yeah. And look like that, but it's all a bit fake and a bit false, yeah. isn't it, really? And they're not like people, kids aren't aspiring to have the best role models now. Yeah. And, and I, think, I, I think it is a shame that, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you can make your money doing that and enjoy what you're doing, like yeah, the people for that sure. sit, yeah. it's a bit like, I suppose, when my brother was younger. You want to be a professional footballer mm. or girls want to be professional singers or pop mm. stars or whatever. Yeah. Um, and your parents kind of go, yeah, just bring you back down to earth a little bit. But um, with those, sorry, I'm interrupting that. With a singer or a footballer, that is a talent. That yeah. is a skill. That is a gift, some it might is. say. Because if you, if you have got a wonderful voice, yeah. why not? Yeah, of um, course. And if you have skills, your athletic skills, and not, yeah. you know, or a runner, a cyclist, whatever, that is a, mm. a talent. Yeah. That you probably might have already, and you'll yeah. work and achieve. So for that, I totally, you know, yeah. would say absolutely aspire to that. But when you're just, but I suppose it's managing your expectations, isn't mm. it? People don't really want to make you feel like you can't do it. Yeah. But at the same time, you've got to be realistic and maybe yeah. have a. They say don't have a fallback plan because it sounds horrible to have a fallback plan, have a full forward plan, apparently. Mm. But yeah, when it's kids are seeing people making money playing games on YouTube and yes. they're playing their PlayStation, yeah. and women are getting paid to go shopping, yeah. I'm not arguing because if someone was going to give me that money to go and try on clothes and yeah. do that, I mean, yeah, we're going to take it. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah, but exactly. What yeah. a shame that that's where people's aspirations and they think it, it again it's that falling oh. back into everything's easy now it's easy money isn't it they think yeah uh you know they don't have to have any particular skills no that's to do it. these things and therefore it looks like easy money yeah and so your average joe can be disappointed because they think i can't even yeah. do that yeah. which is there's no particular skill involved no that's it 
Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I'm glad I'm not 21 anymore. <laughs> mm. That is, it's just a shame about society. And some people are capitalising on that and actually is there mm. anything wrong with it? Because we say if they're well, going to get yeah, paid for doing nothing. Yeah. Mm. And you can see why some people would aspire to it. But it is just yeah. a shame. It's a shame that that's how we all work. Shame on all of us. <laughs> shame on you. Shame on you. But, I mean, the best thing about any of it is for me is the funny cat videos. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually like those. There was yeah. one that's been around for years. Have you seen the Tololol cat? No. Oh, my God. That makes me laugh every time I see it. <laughs> it's like a an opera song that they're playing over it, and a bit of the, cow, the cat's mouth is moving yeah. to it. It's like, Tolololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololol
Are we ready to, to yeah. dive in? Let's go. I'm really close with my husband and I find I still find him very attractive, but the vanilla sex is so boring. Was that it? That's it. <laughs> is that a statement or or does she want us to uh Well, I get the impression that she wants it livened up a little bit. She wants to liven it up, mm. but it's that classic thing that sometimes the person that you're closest to it's hard yeah. to talk about stuff yeah. like that with. Mm. And as she said, she's still close to him. And she still finds him attractive. So in that's her forties. Um, well old. So if they've been together a long time and you grow together. Sometimes your likes change, don't they? And it can be yeah. hard to talk to the person that yeah. you're closest to. If you think, well, actually, I'm kind of a bit this person now. I didn't used yeah. to it. They might think, oh, yeah. you never used to like that. I wonder, maybe so, she could um, perhaps say, let's have a date night. Um, is If he's a bit vanilla, will he want to do role play? But also, on the flip side of it, he might be thinking the same, I wonder. Be. He might be thinking, yeah. oh... I'd like to um, Spice wear my stab vest tonight. Or yeah. Something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, what is it? What, what do we say on every single one? It's communication, isn't it? It is. So yeah. So, but sometimes people don't talk or find it difficult to talk to each mm. other. So maybe write a letter, send an email, or yeah. like leave little clues. Yeah. Or. And it can can become the most awkward elephant in the room yeah. because obviously having been married as well myself and being in a long term relationship, yeah. sometimes if it's been a little while, you kind of think the last thing you want to do is be like, mm, I "Haven't really had sex lately, have we?" Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. Uh, there's there's just there's no easy. It's pork chops with that. You both know that it hasn't happened because yeah. you both have to be yeah. involved. Yeah. It's it's not an easy one to. Mm. To bring up, like like you say, long term relationships sometimes habits form, don't they? they and do. then uh, you kind of drift away and, yeah. and uh, can't be bothered, or your life so. gets in the way. But it sounds like they're still fornicating, not yeah. formicating, fornicating. I wonder if maybe like the classic thing of like a date night, they could have a date night, yeah. whether even if they stay in, if they go out, whatever, whatever their position, they might have young kids or whatever. But maybe they could just have a few drinks. Mm. You know, I don't know how they're into the telly or whatever they are, but maybe they could just spend some time together, t- telly off, bottle yeah. of wine. Yeah. Um, and as you have a few drinks, just sort of Loosen initiate and, yeah. a conversation about mm. like, oh, like what fetishes or what? Yeah. do you, What do you? We do could you even say, oh, my friend, anything, my or... friend told me that her and her partner do this. Yeah. What do you think? Um, and then gauge what the reaction is, whether they'd be horrified. That's... In which case, go and put the telly on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, gauge what the reaction might be there. Mm. Uh, and then he might be like, or she might be like, oh, that sounds interesting. And yeah. Yeah, I think I think one of them is going to have to take the plunge and just try to yeah. initiate something. Yeah. Um, because, the, like, I'm guessing in most relationships, there might be one that wants to do something and the other one that doesn't really want to do it. And then you find a middle ground yeah. in a way of, of doing something. Yeah. In between, mm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, I, yeah, a date night, or you know, if they can go out, it'd be nice, and away from sort of... Cause sometimes when you're inside your house, it's very easy to quickly go and turn the dishwasher off, or, yeah. you know, oh, hang on a minute, I'll be back in a minute, I've just got to go, oh, the baby's woken up or something. So if you can, get out... And then, and I think if she's feeling like it, um, and not to sound sexist, but generally speaking, mm. men are a lot less likely to bring these things to the surface. Yeah, yeah, so he may definitely. well be feeling exactly the yeah. same, but doesn't even know how to to start that yeah. conversation. Yeah. So I, I think if she's sort of taken the first step of writing that, yeah. um, she might have to take the first step to initiate something yeah. further. Then, yeah, yeah. So that we both strongly recommend yes. a date night, yeah. whether it be in or out, whatever's in or out. Possible. Hopefully, oh, we'll yeah, be in yeah. 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 in another orifice, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Um, oh, yeah. Well, good luck with that, and then um, yeah. let us know how it goes, and uh, if you introduced Alan into the mix or something. Okay, thank you for listening to episode ten or eleven. We don't know, we know which one it is, and um, hope you have a great week and. Um, what are we talking about next week? We don't know, do don't we? Know. No. We don't, don't know, know yet. Anyway, bye then. Bye. 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 Okay. <laughs>
dirty secrets. Secrets.